All right. In the next few lectures, we're going to be making our actual hotbar items here have an ability. And the first ability is our melee attack or our sword. The next one we're going to be making is our projectile attack. And then the last one's going to be for when we pick up some health potions on the ground, then we can actually heal our health bar if we need to. So to do our melee attack and just to do any kind of weapon attack, we need to have a mask. And if you're from my top down shooter course, this might be a little bit familiar. On the entities layer, let's make a new sprite. Let's make this 16 by 16, and we're going to leave the default animation so when you see it, it's going to show up blank. Let's make a new animation. Let's call this ID 0, just like we've been doing. And in case you want to add more weapons, you can just add them ID 1, 2, or 3. And just like you've been doing before, it won't be that difficult. So on ID 0, what we're going to do is add our weapon 1 from our assets folder, just a sword. And you can draw this yourself, it doesn't really matter, it's 17 by 7. And we're going to set the origin of this to the right. So we're having this face left and the origin is to the right. And let's exit out of this. And now let's give this a name. So I'm going to call this our SPR underscore weapon mask. And what our weapon mask is really going to do is it's going to pin to our player. And then it's going to decide what weapon it wants to show. So we need to actually add all of the weapon behaviors to the weapon mask. So this is also where you can actually add the hands if you wanted to draw the hands on the sword. But for right now, let's just make this work. So in its behaviors, let's add two. Let's add the pin behavior so we can pin it to the player. And for our sword stabbing effect, we're going to add a sine wave. And if you don't know what a sine wave is you, is, you can look it up. But basically what's going to happen is this is just going to move back and forth and back and forth. And you can change the movement. You can make it vertical or anything else. But what we're going to do is leave it at horizontal. We're going to change the period of it. So the time that it takes to complete going back and forth, we don't want it to be four seconds. We want it to be like 0 0.5. So really quickly. And then our magnitude is going to be how far back it goes and how forward it's going to go. So we're going to put this down to five. That way it's not too big. Okay. Now we're done setting up our weapon mask. So let's go into our player event. And in our every tick, let's add the action for our weapon mask to pin to the player, just like that. Okay, so that's the basics of setting up our weapon mask. In the next lecture, we're actually going to dive into actually starting our melee attack.